guys for a question. Um, yeah, go ahead. In a collapse of the system, when you talk about collapse occurring, what in what do you see or what do you envision when you see a collapse? When you talk about the collapse, I envision a lot of people losing their jobs, and that the funding put forth by the president to try to bail out companies will not work because it doesn't offer a better system or a competitive product. I've never seen any product that I feel would be non-competitive, meaning cheaper, faster, better, lighter, longer lasting, then, then you'll survive. If your products aren't that, you'll sell a few. But, and if people don't have the purchasing power to buy your car, unless you give the banks money to lend them money. So it doesn't make sense. I envision millions of people with lack of purchasing power, medical care, then as it gets worse, since they're cutting back on spending, of funding and food for the hungry, if they cut back, they could have mass riots. But if they can't, if there's no purchasing power, insufficient purchasing power, they can't maintain a police force or army. So fascism, unless you take over all the industries and everything, and then main, operate the government by big business, which they don't need. They don't need to do anything. They make the laws, you obey them, or you're, or you're out. I see fascism as probable. I see chaos, riots, all kinds of trouble. More crime, uh, people break-ins. I see cars for sale very cheap because people don't have money. And the housing problem will continue because the government doesn't offer anything. Government meaning in order for a money system up, they have to tax some people to get the money. If most people are not working, you can't tax them. So you have to cut back on medical care, education, all the other areas that the system can't support. That chaos means uh, when the government steps in finally and says, Nine o'clock is the time you go in your house. The government will regulate that. Government meaning industry. That's what I mean by government. There's no real government, you know. They just are... They're, Obama is elected, but we're operating according to Republican standards, as I understand it. I don't see any change. He's building a bigger army, sending more munitions out there, in the war zone. We have bases all over the world. He hasn't changed that. And not dealing with the problem, in other words. The problem is all nations need access to resources. If you deprive them of that, there's going to be trouble. No matter how many treaties you sign, if the treaty doesn't serve the interest of that nation, we sign treaties and break them because it doesn't serve our interest. Do you understand? But the service signing of the treaty temporarily quells a lot of noise. So Obama really doesn't know what to do. He just has a lot of advisors, but they're all advisors within the monetary system. That's your problem. It's like uh, in the early days of, of primitive society, the guys would advise people to get their bow and arrows together, there, you know, only within the context of that system. We don't have... Uh, an area in Washington called problem solving, where it's like a pentagon. How do you do this? What do you do about traffic accidents?